guys. Welcome to my city. Well, it's really a big town. It's the biggest town in South Dakota that we haven't even reached a quarter of a million people in population yet. This is the Sioux Falls. Or the Falls at Sioux Falls. I've started a few different channels. They're supporting my businesses or my art. And then I've got uh, I've got I've got a lot of fonts I design and of course I design websites and logos too. So I've got a bunch of channels and one of them is uh, Windows Notebook. And uh, there I, I show you little tech tips, like how to replace the screen on a laptop or a netbook. Uh, I got a review of uh, my new computer. And I'm willing to do other reviews of other computers. And uh, then I've got a smartphone channel, Widget Droid. Widget Droid is what I'm, I'm holding in my hands, taking this uh, intro. Uh, a Pixel, two, a, a Pixel, Pixel XL. I, 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 I'm on a two-year contract, so I don't have the Pixel 2 yet. But it's a nice phone. It was the best at the time, and others have since replaced it. Ah uh, well, technology marches on. It's gonna be some time before we come out of the dark ages, as good as the photos are getting, as good as the calls are getting. You know, there's a lot of problems with uh, smartphones these days, even with computers. But computers have really matured in the last decade. I can guarantee you that. I started out with a Commodore 64. Yeah, I'm old. I'm real old, so you don't want to take tech advice from an old guy who's been around, worked at Gateway, and you know went through the system a bit. Never really got any success working for other people, so I, I tried by hand on Facebook and Twitter, and they uh, they spied on us and uh, conducted warfare, guerrilla marketing against us by uh, by coming up with these elaborate portfolios of everybody you know and and they put a, they, they got rid of uh, they got rid of the FBI director for that the FBI the guy that liked to wear women's clothes you know he had a file on just about anybody he needed. This is the kind of marketing that I hate, and I'm a marketer. I think it's absolutely, you know, on Facebook, which is supposed to be a neighborhood website, we're supposed to be treating everybody fairly and being neighborly. And Facebook has this policy not to allow hate and fear promoting advertisements, and they did it. They did it to us. They colluded with the Russians, and uh, not happy thoughts. I had a whole, all my brands on Twitter, and I was, you know, they're responsible too. Google is as well. So I. I feel a little guilty holding a Google phone. But these people polluted with the Russians, which in itself is not a crime. But they spied on us and conducted guerrilla warfare on the individual by the corporation. They did it and undermined our democracy and affected our legends, or allegedly affected our legends, however you look at it. Some of us have a very, very evil view of what has been done. The 
this outlook is not good. It's warfare from the corporation on the individual. And what do we stand for at Facebook? Individuality. Being able to help each other, be neighborly. Facebook didn't do that at all. So they're probably the worst of the bunch. They did it very effectively. On the day of the election, I saw nothing but hate and fear filled advertising coming from the Trump campaign and their box. So I'm trying to leave Facebook behind, Twitter. I'm barely holding on to Google Plus. But I'm a marketer, so I'm still around there. Nevertheless, I'm trying my hand at YouTube. And here's my intro.